do I have to go? Make your marks so that you know. Then you would have, I kind of pre-cut for what I thought was the thigh. You see how much bigger the thigh pieces have to be here compared to the knee and the tibia. So you would do like a light spray. I'm going to just do a light one if that's okay to help stick. And then while that's getting tacky, you're cutting your strips, which I already did. I had to cut my strips a little bit bigger because, again, I have to accommodate for the fact I'm in the thigh. It's a bigger muscle. I make sure X marks the spot is right in the center of that, of that coverall. Then from here, I'm going to mark. Now, you could do your skinny strips because it's a quad it's a bigger muscle I'm just gonna do a bigger one if you have a really big thigh this is where this trick comes in handy use the whole amount of the tape for the anchor start from below thumb up squeeze pull lift you start to see the wrinkling this is where we do the traditional basket weave Squeeze, lift, tension on that tape. Pull the tape up, up, lay it down. Pull it up. Do you see what I'm doing? 50% overlap on the one going in the same direction. I go up the thigh. Oops, that overlapped a little. Almost there. Let's do one more. It slipped a little long. That's why you want to get good at tearing tape, because when you forget your scissors, it's right there. Okay, so now I've covered her injury. I need to re-anchor. I'm going to use my thick strips again. <clears throat> I'm also going to use above and below. I'm going to really close it in. Okay? Now, an athlete that's finicky that doesn't want you to wrap can go out like that. It's not my favorite thing for them to do because the quadricep muscle is taking up three quarters of the length of that femur. <coughs> so the rest of the muscle needs help. This is where the thigh wrap comes in. Okay? So what I'm gonna have you do is stand up vertically on the center platform. Three inch. I thought I took oh, one. Oh, never mind. Three oh, inch white glass.